Welcome back. Hour number two, talk line on the Metro News Radio Network all across the great state of West Virginia. Please welcome the governor of the great state of West Virginia, Jim Justice. We just I wish the last five minutes should have been on live because we had a heck of a discussion there, okay. heck of a debate. Well, let's have it again. All right. So my argument to you was that the budget plans have been talked about ad nauseum. The Senate's going to act on theirs today. The House is going to act on theirs. Uh, you have yours. Uh, I have... Um, noticed what I think is some reluctance by leading Democrats, although Roman Prezioso said he's with you, Democrats to come on and to come out and say, we're with the governor's plan. We're willing to raise taxes. We're willing to raise taxes and not do deep cuts. We're with the governor. Is our House Democrats are the majority members of your party in the legislature with you? And can you prove that? Hoppy, I believe not only are the majority with me, I believe they're all with me, and I can absolutely prove that. And we had a great discussion here just a few minutes ago, and we're going to have a press conference at 2.30 today. And if they're not on the floor, we, get, we may have to adjust the time and everything. But if they're not on the floor, I'm going to bring them all and everything. And because I think these people, they really get it. Now, you've got to understand, too, they're the minority today. And, and, and being kind of beat into the minority, they, they're – you know they've, they've they've almost been beat down a little bit and so it's hard for them to just jump right to the forefront and say we're going to lead when really and truly the majority ought to be leading but you know what's happening there you know we're just frazzled in every direction known to man and we're, what we're going to end up doing is is a nothing burger we're going to end up you know just coming up with with all kinds of things that will not work or things that are really going to hurt people but if you are you, you have asserted yourself and saying i'm leading that's what you said i'm leading here's my ideas i got different i'm leading and and, and these mem these members of the legislature are in your party they're they're your and i understand people have different ideas but they're your people so to my mind, if they all show up and say they're with you, even though they're in the minority, that would be that would represent a consensus, and frankly, strategically, put the Republicans in a little bit more of a box. Quite honestly, well, that's I, my I, opinion. I, I want to say this: you right. know, I've got. We should pass so many accolades towards this this group of Democrats that are willing to step out and lead, but but I want everyone to know. All people are my people, and I want goodness for everybody, you know, and, and I don't care who in the world takes credit for this, but the net net of the whole thing, I mean, let's just tell it like it is, you know, and I'm not throwing stones, but, but, but you're about to, but I am <laughs> about to, you know, Armstead is standing in the way of tons and tons of progress and what he's put on the table today, it won't work in any way, shape, form, or fashion. There's no chance on the planet that it will work. And it's just absolutely going to spin us into a special session that's going to talk, uh, cost the taxpayers all kinds of money. Overwhelmingly across this state, business, educators, labor, everybody is behind this effort. To, we've got to spread the pain out just a little bit amongst us all and go forward with a real plan. In, in all candor, and... In, in Okay, let, let me give you, let, let's do this. We'll do, in fairness, we'll do this. You all released this. A survey of 402 likely voters shows that 74% support the Save Our State plan proposed by Governor Jim Justice. According to the Mountain State poll, a mere 16% of respondents say they oppose the plan. 10% are not sure, with at least 80% in support. Uh, well, let's see, so on and so forth, so on and so forth. So uh, this poll by, now I don't know how the question was phrased. I don't know how the question was phrased. Because that, I mean, that could be, do you do you support saving our state as opposed to going to hell in a handbasket? You know, you'd be for, you'd no, be for if that. You read, if you read on, the question was, was posed, are you in favor of a half a percent increase in consumer sales tax? And overwhelmingly, across the board, Republicans, Democrats, Independents, all said, all said, overwhelmingly, we're, 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 we're in favor. So here it is. Support for half a cent tax hike to fund SOS exists among every major subset. Democrats, 63 percent. Republicans, 60 percent. Independents, 66 percent. So, and yeah. I have no idea where this poll came from. I mean, I could stand in front of the good Lord tomorrow. I have no idea who did it. No idea whatsoever. Jim Justice is with us, the governor for the state. Back to the House. But why wouldn't the House budget work? They're talking about raising revenue by eliminating some of the um, some of the tax exemptions, which you all favor. You all favor oh. getting rid of some of the exemptions. Oh, okay, right? let's let's just be straightforward. All right. 
the additional exemptions that they're taking off are direct use, they're uh, contracting, and they're the silliness about the haircuts and all that kind of stuff. But that's going to raise them, if they're able to do that, which there's no way on the planet that they're going to be able to do that because there's going to be a revolt in, in regard to taxing business against business and everything. But if they were able to do that, that gets them $60 million. And on, on the other side of the coin, they're eliminating the dogs, they're eliminating the teacher's pay raise, they're eliminating the SOS money to market our state, and they're eliminating the vets, taking care of our vets. Now, when you do that, that gives them another $60 million. Well, now there's still $115 million upside down, and where that, where's that going to come from? And that's with even the additional cuts that I gave them, the 2% across the board, you know, uh, cuts with DHHR and all that kind of stuff. And where are they going to come up with the 115 million? You know where they're going to come up with it? Higher ed. They're going to whack higher ed more. They're going to whack uh, K through 12 more and DHHR, and it will absolutely cripple the state. So they can't get the exemptions off, and it'll cripple the state beyond belief. It's a nothing burger. All right, so play this thing out because the Senate's going to pass their budget. The House is going to pass their budget. Uh, it'll go to a conference committee probably on Saturday. You, uh, by, uh, it's in the Constitution. You have to today extend the session to work on the budget. The Constitution says you shall, if they don't have a budget within three days of the end of the session, you shall have an extended session. So presumably sometime later today, you will extend the session. How long will you extend the session? Well, we're working on that right now, Hoffie, and, and, you know, we're going to probably, we haven't quite finalized that, you know. I kind of feel like, you know, that, that, that it, you know, that if we extend the session, it'll probably be one day. One day? One day. That's it? That's it. Then you're, it would be extended for you to veto their budget, right? I mean, you're going to veto their they're, budget. They're, they're, they have no budget, Hoffie. You know that, and I, everybody knows that. They have no budget, you know. The budget they have will absolutely just paralyze us, paralyze us all. You know, they've, they've even, because they're, they're a bunch of children in a lot of ways, you know, now, now I'm in more trouble. But, but what they've done now is they've even pulled off the agenda our roads package in the House. I mean, the Senate passed it through 100%. Everybody in the world knows it's 48,000 new jobs and everything else, and they've pulled that down too. And they pulled it down because they're playing like a bunch of babies because they're mad over the fact that the speaker got embarrassed over medical marijuana. Something that happened that hadn't happened since 1985, a vote of no confidence to the speaker. I mean, and so they pulled that down too. Now you've got a bunch of blooming children. I mean, let's just tell it like it is. A bunch of blooming children that are playing with the people of the state of West Virginia and they're hurting us. And that's all there is to it. And the people better wake up and realize that the children and rem 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 take names, remember the names, you know, because it's not any good. So you will likely extend the session for one day, and that can be only to work on the budget. Would that be then Sunday or Monday, or when would that be? Any idea? And you it's, would. I, I, I know, I, I got an idea. I mean, you know, really and true, you know, with the, if a cart's in the ditch, it's Sunday. And then that would be just work on the budget. Presumably, they'd be forced to come up with a budget, and you would veto it, and then what? Then I guess, you know, we've got to, we've got to figure out what to do. It's a terrible tragedy for our people. Well, we've got to do something. Got to have well, a budget. Well, I mean, right. everybody, everybody, maybe this, everybody cools off. Then that leads to, I, I don't want to just completely engage in, hypo in, in what could happen, but it, it seems to be headed then for everybody cool off for a while and come back in a special session later on. That's what it feels like. But, but, that's, but that's terrible. I mean, that's, that's a crying pitiful shame. And they won't even, here's another thing that's so bizarre, is that, you know, the Dems are 100% behind this too. If you work, if you have to come to special session, when a special session lasts more than five days, nobody gets paid. Well, why in the world wouldn't they man up to that? I mean, you know, but, but it, it, it's a crying shame. Governor Jim Justice is with us. So you're saying that this afternoon <laughs> that you'll have a whole passel of House and Senate Democrats, if they're not in session, that will stand with you and say, we support the governor's the, plan. The governor's plan. Yeah, and we need to tell the people again what that is. We'll tell them. That, that's, that's a one penny tax for every four dollars you spend. It's a no, I'm sorry. It's a, it's a half of a half of a penny 
on consumer sales tax. Now it was one fourth of a penny because we were going to add in the cigarettes and the soft drinks and, and the sugary drinks and, and, and everybody in the world says no, no, no. Which I say yes, 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 but, but anyway, so it becomes a half a penny on that. It right. becomes a point oh 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 four five cat tax on business, which the chamber, the contractors, everybody is behind. It's a rich man's tax, you know, that basically has the rich people or the wealthy people step up and pay almost nothing. I mean, teetotally almost nothing. And, and that's just our way of saying we're willing to help. That's what it is. Basically, that's the gist of everything. And the remove of the exemption on telecommunications. Well, we're all, er, all, all everybody's the, disagreement er, on everybody's that. Everybody's in agreement on that. And uh, the and cat tax, and you come up with two hundred thirty-six million dollars in new revenue. Is that right? That's but that but that but that is the tel, that's the telecommunication removal and everything right. else. Basically, my my tax is the cat tax, which brings us forty-five million dollars. Right. This is justices and. And the sales tax, which brings us $50 million. And the rich man tax, which brings us $8 million. So what justice is really asking for is $103 million. It's reported that justice wants to tax us to death in every way, shape, form, or fashion. Justice wants $103 million. That's basically it. And spread out as painlessly as we possibly can and jump starters and go like crazy. All right. Governor Jim Justice, I guess I'll see you at 2.30. I'll be there. I'll be there with bells on with lots of people. Now, by the way, I, did, I just want to tell people how this came out. He just decided uh, 15 minutes ago to do that. So we'll see if you can rally. You, you see if those people are going to show no, up. It, it didn't matter just decided 15 minutes ago. They have been with this all along. It's just, it's just that you challenged me from the standpoint you said, will they show up? And I said, absolutely. And they said, well, the Republicans don't believe it. And I said, absolutely. And you said, well, they still don't believe it. And I said, I'll bring them. All right. We'll see you there. Okay. Thanks for coming Thank by. All right.